Hey, it's Hunter from Mr. Computer Guy 199 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use GarageBand on Mac OS X. So what you're going to want to do first is go down here and uh, open up GarageBand. So we'll let that load. And then you can do a new project. And right now we'll just do loops. Choose. Then you name it and everything. Hunter's um, video song. Okay, create. Okay, and then this is what you get with GarageBand. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I don't want to go fast. Okay. Um, so right now we'll just do uh, pretty much just a drum beat. So you can do all drums. And this is what you get. You can just click on one. Or you can do rock blues. Unselect it. You can do electronic. So we'll hit reset. And then we'll go to, where is it? Guitars. Rock slash blues. So what we do is we just click and hold and we drag it, you know, to create a new instrument. And you can select the volume of it. Then we can do something like... Or you know what, we'll do bass and rock blues. I'll try classic rock fretless no one. Click and drag into a new instrument. Since it's not long enough, we'll just command copy and then drag it where we want it pasted and hit command V. And now we'll listen to that and we'll turn the volume up again. And there we go. Sorry if you guys can't hear that, but I can hear it fine, the bass in the background. Um, now we'll do drums, rock blues. We'll just do classic rock beat. Oh, one. Turn up the volume on that, too. Once it goes, there we go. Then we got this. Then we can add more, so we'll go back to reset, um, guitars, rock, blues, what did I do, classic? No, blues guitar. And then we can redo it, and then we'll go back to bass, rock, blues, classic rock fretless, and then we'll copy it again, command copy, drag where we want it, paste, and then kits. And then what is it? Classic Rock Beat 1. And then it'll be uh, longer. So now we drag it over here to the beginning. Or I'm pretty sure we can just do that. Or maybe it's just beginning like this. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, you can mute everything. So, uh, 
I like that. And then you can uh, just listen to it by making it yellow. And then add in some more stuff. Yep, and then you can mute other things. Sounds pretty cool. And then unmute everything. And then if you see here these two little arrows, I'll zoom in. These two little arrows, you can uh, select which one you want. So we'll try 01. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> And then it'll change, or we can try 03. Then we can try the Texas Blues 01. I think I'll just keep it 2. If we mute everything else, you can tell the difference with the bass too. Now if we go back to the beginning, change this to 02. And then we can change it to 3. Then we can go back and change it to 4. That sounds pretty cool. Or we can just keep it at 01, which I'm just going to do that. And then mute. Oops, keep that muted. Unmute the kit. And you can do 02. Uh, change it to, we'll just do 05. So that's an easy way to change it without uh, doing anything really, like going back here. And then you can always add more and just click on it and delete it. And if you have one selected, you can command all, or command A and hit delete, then command Z, undo, command Z, command Z, and you're good. And let's try something else, command Z, and it'll change your stuff again. Then command Z, changes it back to... See? And then you can delete those. Command A, delete. You can turn off the metronome. Okay, and now do this. Turn it back on. This will, this will, uh, make it redo. So if we do command Z to get all of our stuff back. Okay. Now we do command Z. Gets all of our stuff back and we hit redo from where number five. It restarts. But then if we drag it out to nine. Starts, but if we have the read start off and we go to the eight, it just keeps going, which we don't want that to want it to do that right now. So, um, kind of looks like a refresh, and I know it's on if the yellow bars right there, but we'll just keep it off, reset, and then you can do quit, and it'll ask you if you want to save, hit save.